So there's a pretty uh, simple way to figure out if you should be farming B4, B5 for second awakenings. Um, first, you have to consider whether or not, you know, first you have to figure out what your constraint is, right? Are you short on time or are you short on the actual uh, energy for the second awakening dungeons, right? So if you're finding yourself constantly with a full hundred energy and it's like, you know, you just keep forgetting to use it, then obviously you're going to want to be trying to do the, the quicker, but still the most efficient fast speed. So you're going to want to most likely do B4, maybe B3. Um, whereas if you're doing the, um, you know, whereas if you don't mind having three minute runs, then, you know, by all means, feel free to, uh, you know, take three, you know, three minutes on your, on your runs, right. And do B5 at that point. Um, you also have to factor in how stable your team is because every single time you fail at a run, um, you know, you, it, it, it's going to waste an energy and it, it decreases the efficiency um, even further. And at a certain point, um, you know, that that decreases, you know, too significant to even be worth running B5. Um, I didn't bother calculating um, B5 versus B4 with failure rates, um, but we can go ahead and actually factor that in right now. So basically... Um, Right, so basically at B5, you're gonna get 960 uh, awakening experience points and at B4, you're gonna get 740. So for B4, basically you, you know, to figure out the, the uh, sorry, I wasn't clicking. Um, to figure out the difference between those two, you're gonna to wanna to take the 960 divided by 740 and that's gonna be your slope basically, right? So you're gonna to wanna to say any, um, and that's gonna be like your multiplier, right? For your times to figure out the difference between the two. So in my case, um, I do my, I average a minute, 15 seconds on average for B4 um, and B5, I was averaging um, a minute 45, so another 30 seconds. So basically to figure out which one was more efficient, you take the, um, you know, you take your B4 time, multiply it by the slope of the B5 experience over the B4 experience. So 960 over 740 is 1.29. Multiply your dungeon time for B4 by 1.29, which is gonna get you, um, in this case, it's gonna get me 75 times 1.29 is gonna be 97, right? So 97 seconds should be my average time for B5 to have it be the same efficiency. Um, and when I say efficiency, again, you have to factor in your constraint whether or not it's time or energy if it's energy then your efficiency your most efficient thing to do is always just to take the b5 right um, but if time is your main constraint then you want to know where your time is being best spent um, so if you wanted to adjust for failure rate right so let's say should you run b4 um, I'm sorry let's should you run b5 um, if you can only get 80% success rate, right? So that means one in five runs you're gonna fail. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna take the 960 um, and then um, multiply it by 0 0.8, which is gonna get a 768, right? So when you do that, um, all of a sudden you have to, you, you know, you're gonna have to recalculate all your numbers, right? So now the slope becomes uh, 1.03. So you're going to multiply 75 um, by, um, what's it called? You're going to multiply 75 by 1.03, and that's going to give you the time that you need to be running it in, right? So in this case, if your B5 time is successful, but you're still, um, you know, if your B5 time is 77 seconds versus 75 seconds for B4 at a 20% failure rate, uh, for B5, that's when you're going to want to drop back down to B4. So obviously that's, you know, it, it's kind of a, it's kind of a no brainer, right? So long story short, easy video. If you have the time to do it, go for the highest one you can. If you don't have time, do the simple calculation of basically, I won't even make you do the math. Just take your dungeon time for B4 
find out your average, do five, 10 runs, find out your average for B5, do five or 10 runs, take your average of B4, multiply it by 1.3 and see if that's more or less than um, the times you're actually getting. So if 70, so if your B4 time times 1.3 is less than the um, time it takes you to clear B5, then you know that you should just stick with B4. Um, pretty straightforward, right? So uh, I'm also gonna just show a couple more teams yet again. Um, so for B4, you can use this team right here that I have works pretty consistently uh, for Spectra specifically. I haven't tried it with Bernard. Um, Lauren and Water Twins, um, alternatively, you can swap Lauren out for um, Vertihyle, or if you really want Lucian, um, I find that Lucian gives me the like the least consistent runs, um, so it's it's really up to you. Um, for B five, and actually this team uh, sample text is the one that I found this team with. Um, he was doing Hua, Rauk. Oh, what was he doing? He was doing Hua, Rauk, and. Um, Hua Rauk Spectra Bella. Um, and that was working fine. Uh, if you want one that's a little bit more safe, then do Verda Heil Spectra Rauk Bella instead. Um, but I found plenty of success just running it with Hua. Um, you can also do um, Kamoon if you want um, to make it safer. But that was, I was getting like three minute runs with that team. So I wouldn't really recommend doing it at that point. Um, Again, it's it's just like it's just like that basic math, right? For me, um, with you know, with like the whole like coronavirus quarantine thing, like time is not as major of a constraint for me. So I could be running B five, um, but I am just trying to focus on other things at the same time. So that's kind of why B five is also better for me because I'll come back and check my tablet maybe every five minutes instead of like every you know two. So B five is way better for me than B four. Um, just because time wise, you know, it's easier. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's pretty much that video in a nutshell. Um, Sample Text has a good video on Second Awakening Dungeons and like uh, Speed Teams. Um, he's got his whole video bookmarked and everything like that. So, honestly, like, this is just to figure out which one's more efficient. But if you want, like, more help with it, I would just go check out his video. Um, there's so many videos out there, but I, I liked his. Um, yeah, just go check his video out, honestly. See ya.